welcome today to The Vital Spot. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the Declaration of Independence, also known as Happy Birthday, United States of America. Um, we're going to be talking about kind of the causes of the writing of the Declaration of Independence and what it is. It's going to be pretty short, um, although an extremely important document in American history. It's not something we're going to see in a lot of uh, tests. Um, so we're going to go through this pretty quickly, get to the bulk, and get to the most important part. Oh, hold on. I hear there's breaking news from the past. Hold on. I think we can flash back to time. Breaking news from John Adams. I have come to the conclusion that one useless man is called the disgrace, that two become a law firm, and that three or more become a Congress. And by God, I have had this Congress. For ten years, King George and his parliament have gulled, cullied, and diddled these colonies with their illegal taxes. Stamp Acts, Townsend Acts, Sugar Acts, Tea Acts. And when we dare stand up to them like men, they have stopped our trade, seized our ships, blockaded our ports, burned our towns, and spilled our blood. And still, this Congress refuses to grant any of my proposals on independence, even so much as the courtesy of open debate. Good God, what hell are you waiting for? Man, that John Adams is one mad fellow, huh? Well, who wouldn't be? He's been in a bad relationship with England. The entire country has been abusing the United States of America. This is ultimately what leads to the creation of the Declaration of Independence. But perhaps more important than the Declaration of Independence itself is the entire act of declaring independency. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, this is a time when America has matured, or the colonies have matured, and realized that they no longer need Mother England. They're ready to fly out of the nest. They're ready to go off to college, right? They don't need England's protection anymore. And they actually are really upset with England's protection because they're not only protecting them, but they're abusing them in the process. We've talked in the past about all the events that led to the American Revolution, like all the taxes that were passed um, without, great, without um, the colony's consent. So men such as John Adams were getting really frustrated, but other men didn't want to break away from England, thinking, we've been doing OK with England. We don't need to take a risk on becoming our own country. Not only that, this would have been the first time in recorded human history that one country would break and become independent. This will be, of course, one of many dominoes, because once the United States declares its independence, many other countries will follow through in its footsteps. But let's get to the meat. So we, the United States declares itself to be the United States on July 2nd, 1776. Yes, if that date seems a little off to you, it should. We celebrate on the 4th. I'll get to that in one second. But we celebrate on the 2nd. And John Adams, who was very angry, um, said that that would actually be the most important day in American history. Because what happens on the 2nd of July is we declare our independence. We make a resolution as a Congress that we are no longer part of Great Britain. However, it takes two more days for us to adopt a piece of paper written by Thomas Jefferson declaring that we are independent. And that is, of course, the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence was adopted on July 4th and subsequently, subsequently signed almost years, a year after. So not all of those men signed on the same day. That Declaration of Independence was kind of like a really long and mean breakup letter where it lists all the things that the king, King George III, had done wrong under or to the United States. Uh, things like closing our ports, uh, taxing us without our consent, quartering us, quartering soldiers into our houses. And this list of grievances now, you may know some parts of the Declaration of Independence. Some are extremely famous. The, the idea of uh, unalienable rights, that we are endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights, and that amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's from the Declaration of Independence. Now, when Thomas Jefferson wrote this, 
He certainly didn't come up with this idea all on his own. A man named John Locke came up with it years before him, uh, where he said life, liberty, and property. But Thomas Jefferson realized that he needed to change this a little bit for the new United States. However, after the first couple paragraphs that are flowery and prettily plit written, we get into a very long list of all the demands and problems the king has made, those lists of grievances. The Declaration of Independence is well worth a read, but don't be surprised if you get a little bored and a little upset because it's actually just a really angry breakup letter. Um, it does you know, involve some pretty key things, though, too, that we need to discuss, and that's the idea that the members of Congress will band together and that they declare to each other that they will... Um, stand through the revolution and take whatever punishment may come to them for this signing of the Declaration of Independence. And most of them do. One man does back out on his signature uh, and, and renounces it and renounces uh, his allegiance to the king years later. Um, <clears throat> but it is an extremely important document to the United States and to the rest of the world because after the American Revolution, um, many other countries will also declare its independence, some specifically from Great Britain and others um, from other European powers. So it's an important document um, to know a little bit about. And of course, on the 4th of July, impress all your friends by pointing out that we're celebrating two days late and that our Independence Day is actually two days before that. Um, and when you're studying this, uh, you know, know that um, Thomas Jefferson is the man who wrote it. It was a five-man committee. Um, but Thomas Jefferson wrote the document. Um, it was kind of spearheaded by John Adams. Um, but uh, there's the Declaration of Independence in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. If you have more, have you have more information or you like the video, please subscribe below. Thanks. Have a great day.